Like, I want you to have a healthy personal relationship with the Qur'an. And that's not going to happen until you make time to memorize it. So what should be your kind of course of action? What, what can you do for yourself to slowly but surely build a relationship with the Qur'an that's constantly evolving, constantly maturing? On the spiritual side, memorization and tajweed. Have a part-time you know, regiment for yourself, one ayah, two ayahs a day, whatever it is, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you can do. But have time set aside for memorization and make it just a daily part of your life. Even if you're not going to become a hafiz, you die in that state of memorizing one or two ayat a day, you will be raised a hafiz on judgment day. So why not? There's no reason for us not to be lazy about that. That's number one. Number two, the, one of the motivations I have for doing this brief dafs without going into too much detail and discussing too many like in-depth you know, components of tafsir is because I want you to have an overview of the surahs, especially the ones you're going to be memorizing. So in, inshallah, all of this is available online on the Bayna TV site. But the surahs I want you to focus on are the surahs you've already memorized. Listen to dars of those surahs a couple of times. And the lessons and the ayat will just kind of start sticking in your head. When you do that for a couple of surahs, maybe four or five, ten pages worth of surahs that you've memorized and you've gone through the lessons and as you recite them, you can remember what was being talked about. Then when you start your Arabic studies, they're so, it's so much easier. It's so much easier because examples and vocabulary, some foundation of it is already there. It's already, and you're just applying now to what you heard before. You know, it's just, it's now coming to life for you. So that'll be a, it'll be a good approach for you to take a few surahs every year. And Ramadan is like your, like graduation. So you're working all the way up to Ramadan. And then in Ramadan, you, you know, you recite and you do new surahs and things like that and your new cycle begins. So Quran's, your Quran study cycle becomes it revolves around Ramadan. There are so many things to study, there are so many things to do. But I'm talking about people that have career, work, and all this stuff on your plate. What can you do at least for Qur'an in yourself? That every year you see some progress between you and the Qur'an, at least this is a manageable goal, inshallah ta'ala. So I hope you guys can do that, and I hope these dhulus were of benefit to you. I really enjoyed having you guys here, alhamdulillah. At first, I have to be honest, it was weird, because... When you guys first came, I'm used to seeing a certain bunch of people sitting in these seats for 10 months in a row. So I know where everybody sits. And I know who to pick on and who to make fun of and who to make cry and who to, you know, etc. So and I saw, and saw new faces, even some of the students from last year came and said like, Oh, this is weird. This is, cause this, this, after a while, this turns into our home. Right? And then you have completely different people sitting in your home. But then alhamdulillah, after like a week, I got used to your faces.